Hi guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the year of UFC and giving my, or a quick thought on my UFC end of year awards. So the fight of the year for me personally is uh, Dan Hooker against Jalen Turner. Jalen Turner started off so well in that fight and then got a bit tireder and tireder and tireder and Hooker came on strong in the end of that fight but it was still a back and forth fight even when both of them were tired. It was just an amazing fight and I'd urge any of you to go in watch the fight it was in my opinion fight of the year honorable mention obviously to pantoja against brandon moreno where pantoja won his belt um that was a great fight then you've got you've got um who else have you got you got i can't think of any other amazing fights off the top of my head um, you got, I think it's Rachmanov against um, Jeff Neal, I think was this year. Some amazing fights. Uh, I'd urge all of you to go back and watch some amazing fights from the UFC because it's amazing matchmaking. And please give me your um, opinion or fight of the year in the comments below. For me personally, knockout of the year, it was really hard to choose between two of them. I'd say Josh Emmett for knockout of the year like that knockout was amazing i've spoken about that in a previous video like the power of that punch the sound of that punch like how it made bryce mitchell convulge on the floor um but then also adesanya against alex Pereira. adesanya that's more for the consequences of the knockout like adesanya knocked out alex Pereira after losing to him twice in kickboxing losing his title to him in november of last year in ufc and then coming back and knocking him out in a fight where alex Pereira was unloading on adesanya on the fence because he thought he got him hurt and then adesanya comes with a big overhand like between alex Pereira's punches and knocks him out and yeah so i just wanted to give an honorable mention to adesanya i'd say the knockout of the year was probably Josh Emmett. Um, upset of the year involves Adesanya again. I'd say Sean Strickland beating Adesanya. He absolutely dominated Adesanya. Um, like, I didn't expect that at all. I thought Adesanya was going to knock him out in the first three rounds. I thought Adesanya was much better on the feet and I just thought he was going to knock him out. But Sean Strickland, he dropped Adesanya hard in the first round and Adesanya just didn't recover. Hopefully Adesanya can come back this year at some point and fight the winner of Duplessis versus Sean Strickland. But I guess we'll have to see amazing performance by Sean Strickland, which leads on to my performance of the year, which I, I'm struggling to go between Sean Strickland against Adesanya because that was an upset and it was a great performance, or Ilya Tapoya against Josh Emmett. I think that fight ended 50-43. So I'm probably going to have to go for that fight because that was absolute domination, that Ilya Tapoya versus Josh Emmett fight. He looked like he was going to get Josh Emmett out of there multiple times, but Josh Emmett, he's so he's so durable, he's so brave, so so just courageous, and he managed to get through that fight um, and get a knockout at the end of the year. Um... Just great performance by Ilya Tapoya, obviously fighting for a title against Alexander Volkanovsky in February, which I'll be previewing close to the time. And I am excited to see what Tapoya can do. Um, yeah, amazing performance. And then the last thing I'm going to be talking about in this UFC review is fight of the year. I was struggling to go for fight of the year because most people have fought twice. I think if Adesanya beat Strickland, then he would have won fight of the year. Um, I think if Strickland fought a better level of competition in his first two fights of the year, he would be fight of the year. But for me personally, fight of the year has got to be... Leon Edwards. Shout out to Corey Sandhagen, I'd say. Beating Rob Font and beating... Marlon Vera, I'd say... Um, yeah, great great performance by the fight of the year, who I believe is Leon Edwards. I think Leon Edwards is probably fight of the year because he's fought 
arguably one of the best ever welterweights in Kamal Usman. He beat him over the distance, so people can't say it was a lucky head kick um, in the second fight. Uh, and he beat Colby Covington. Colby Covington was scared of him. Colby Covington was really intimidated from Leon Edwards from the opening bell. Um, yeah, great, great year for Leon Edwards. I think also someone who runs him close is probably Volkanovski. Oh, not Volkanovski, sorry. Uh, Islam Makashev. But I think because Islam Makashev only defended against Volkanovski twice and Volkanovski coming from the division below and one of them was a really, really close fight, I'd probably have to say that Leon Edwards just beat Makashev and that's actually a fight I'd like to see next year. Leon Edwards against Makashev for pound for pound number one status, I believe. Um, can't wait for what's happening for the UFC next year. Uh, thank you, guys. Please give your comments on each of the... Uh, comments and thoughts sorry on each of the categories that I've outlined uh, be really good to hear your opinion on it and see if I've missed any candidates for fight of the year knockout of the year fight of the year thanks guys please like comment subscribe and have a good day thank you